all set, ready to go then. Referee Claire Purcell from Waterford. Our officials are Olivia Snide and Vicky McKinnon Henry. And the fourth official is Kate O'Brien. So straight away, it's Cork City trying to apply a little bit of pressure here. Sophie Liston operates wide on that right-hand side. That was Lauren Ebulano. Coming into challenge here is Becky Casson and creates a menace in the uh, female penalty area. A couple of good runs been made, but it beats everybody. Ends up being a goal kick. Good delivery. Yeah, you know, she's she's got she's got a wicked delivery. You see it from a left foot in swinger, and you know, she's just unlucky that probably the ball just slightly over hit, carried. There doesn't seem to be too much of a breeze here in the stadium, particularly. Great ball in and just wide of the target in the end. Karen Duggan there was in the thick of it. Just watch this again here. Over the head of the nearest player. And it was uh, Karen, not Karen Duggan, but I think the number 10 who actually got to it. It's uh, Eleanor Ryan Doyle who may have well have had the final touch there. I think it was. Yeah, I think it's a really good setup. You know, I think Karen Duggan probably is the primary target of. The, of Lively competitive game. Stephanie Roach again trying to roll it across. Eva Mahani got in the way. Sisha Noonan. Piemont able to win it back easily. Alana McAvoy taking this one in. Becky Carson, cool as you like. Chris, oh, that one left short there by Christina Drink. Reaches Zara Foley. Sophie Liston moves very well, works very hard. Easily won back, however, there. Alana McAvoy as the game heads towards stoppage time at the end of the first half. Great ball across. Excellent ball across and should have been finished. I know it was a difficult one there for Eleanor Ryan Doyle, but it was a chance. It was a brilliant ball across here. Not the easiest one to make the connection with. And it didn't quite work out for Eleanor Ryan Doyle. Lucy McCartan. Nice ball. Stephanie Roach, awkward angle, brilliant goal. Superb goal. The breakthrough has come in the opening minute of the second half. And it's the former Irish international who's done it for Piemont United, Stephanie Roach. Oh, yeah, and it's an absolutely perfect start for Piemont United right at the second half. An absolutely splitting pass, brilliantly timed. And Stephanie's timed her run impeccably, in fairness to her. She turns beautifully just to get on the end of it. And it's a great finish. And it's a, do you know what? It's a difficult angle to put it in from there. And, and in fairness to Stephanie, you know, that's a, that's a great goal. And, you know, Cork City now really have to regroup um, and, and get, get themselves back into the game. But that is a perfect, perfect start from Piemont. Sixth goal of the season for Stephanie Roach. And is she delighted? Well, that will relieve a lot of the tension, I feel, must inevitably have been there among the Piemont players and management. One back again here by Claire Walsh. All this seems to have time at her disposal. What a lovely ball forward that is into the path here of Eleanor Ryan Doyle. Beautiful ball in. And was it going to be finished? Alana McAvoy denied initially. Roach looking for a second and getting it. And Piemont lead the cup final 2 0. Both goals credited to Stephanie Roach. The first one was a very difficult angle one. That one end up being a tap in for her. Well, they all count, and it started over there on that right flank. Yeah, an early ball over the top just caught the Cork City defenders out, and you know. <laughs> Ma or Alana, Mac Alana McAvoy's done really, really well. She keeps the ball alive. She's isolated. Just keeps it alive and spots Stephanie. Little touch. And again, it's another lovely finish from Steph. So two goals to nil. And Alana McAvoy causing menace in there, but booted into the back of the empty net in the end by the marvellous Stephanie Roach. 
So the Peas are leading Cork City by two goals to nil. The goals coming some six minutes apart. The beginning. Oh, that's stolen. And it's Stephanie Roach again looking for another one. Well, the hat trick is on for her now this time. That time catching Danielle Burke. It certainly is. And again, she just anticipates and she pounces on that lit, slightly loose first touch. And she just tries to hit it with the outside of her boot, maybe takes a touch. And Plenty of time left in this cup final. T-Mount look like... They're the ones who are looking for the next goal, however. McAvoy, difficult one, great paw away by the goalkeeper. Maria Sullivan preventing a third one there. Karen Duggan and the goalkeeper again performing heroics. Super work. This is the first effort here. Stretched superbly to get that ball away out of danger. And then, when Karen Duggan had her at her feet, she was trying to lob the goalkeeper who reached out and caught it cleanly. Yeah, and as soon as she came up, she was having a word with her defenders and her midfielders saying how is she allowed to have that much time. And, that and they have all the advantages right now going. Well intercepted here by Natalie O'Brien. Storming forward. This is Laura Shine. Trying to take it away from Claire Walsh, and Walsh, the much more experienced player, sets Piemont forward again. It's Onyo Gorman. It's two against three. Stephanie Roach here, looking to curl another one in. Well, she hits some of the most amazing shots we've seen in this game from all kinds of different angles. That's gone out for a corner kick. From yeah. being under pressure at one end, suddenly, Lisa, they're up at the other end, threatening. Yeah, absolutely, and it was 3v2 at the other end as well, like Piemont taking some chances that they probably don't need to take at their, at their own end, but again, a quick transition, and the game is really, really starting to become stretched. Megan Smith Lynch to take this corner kick. <laughs> Stephanie Roach headed it, but not on target. It's still in play, in fact. Well, it's not gone wide. It's gone out for a throw instead. Yeah, I think just James O'Callaghan probably won't be too pleased about that, you know, in the, in the initial build-up. Um, P-Mount taking a couple of chances that they just don't need to take. Keep your structure, you're 2-0 up in a game. You know, don't leave any opportunities because this Cork City team have pay pace and power and players who are clever and 1v1, brilliant 1v1 players. You know, a lot of credit due to all of the players for participating. Nice ball across to Derville Burn again. Back in towards Megan Smith Lynch. Setting it up. On your goal with a show offside. It's got a count, it seems. Cork City looked across immediately towards the official, and Onyo Gorman beats Maria O'Sullivan, and it's 3 0 now to P Mount United. Yeah, and that's an incredible ball from Stephanie Roach. Let's have a look at this again here now. When that ball is played. I think she's possibly, no, possibly level, and yeah. level is okay. I think she's level, and, you know, thankfully we don't have VAR because I think that's a really, really good goal. Megan Smith Lynch does really well. It's a super, super, superbly executed and struck ball by Stephanie Roach just to put Anya in, and it's a great finish. As in the league, 3-0 on two occasions. In the cup final, T-Mount are three ahead once more. So more problems then for Cork City to contend with. Megan Smith Lynch is the one who's going to take it. Curls it in invitingly, and it's another one. And this time, I think it is Karen Duggan. Yeah, it is. She's waited for her opportunity. She's been in there on trying to get on the end of all the corners, and finally one comes off for her. And, you know, it's a great day for Karen personally, but it's it'll be lovely for her to tap off a winner's medal with, with an FAI Cup final goal. Five times she's lost a Cup final. She's intent that it will be six-time lucky. An inviting ball in, and Karen Duggan, with a glancing header, makes it 4-0. And yeah, that's trademark stuff from Karen Duggan. Well, football's sometimes like that, and... Oh, it's a very good save, and then it's finished. Another one has got in. 
only just on the park and it's Rebecca Watkins who's got it 83 minutes are gone she's made it five all these crosses into the area causing problems hit the first time it's a very good save by the goalkeeper but the knock in by Rebecca Watkins was very decisive she wasn't going to miss with that tap in yeah and you can just see how stretched the Cork City defense is and you know it's it's difficult for them at this stage but you know it is it all it is all experience and it will count to them eventually but um you know it, again it's just a sign of the ruthlessness from P-Mount. Well there is the heroine in so many respects Stephanie Roach coming off about to be replaced and going off as well is going to be Nia Farrelly as the manager James O'Callaghan takes the opportunity to use his full available bench of five subs so coming in Della Marie Doherty coming in and very very happy Stephanie Roach ready to put on the top and enjoy the last few minutes of a winning cup final performance yeah but that was a really good chance Katie McCarthy did so well down the channel and great ball across and Sir Shanoon would be difficult you know she'd be disappointed not to get that one on target and it was a really good opportunity Becky Watkins once again cut back oh they've got another one it's Tegan Ruddy this time I think six it's quite an emphatic performance by P Mount United again using the width of the pitch the flanks here again a super move forward lovely cut back brilliant finish and it was Tegan Ruddy yeah, and that's possibly her first touch in the game. She's only just come on as a sub. But again, it's 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 a cruel game at times, but at the top level, the top players have to be ruthless and they have to be clinical. What a finish. No hanging around. Beaten in the last two cup finals, today has made up for so much of the disappointment of the last two years. Would, but it's massive experience for them. It's a wonderful day for Piedmont United. The young players celebrating with their manager James O'Callaghan, who goes across to commiserate with Ronan Collins. But today there was only one team in it when it came to the second half. They had an explosive start to the second half. Two goals inside, six minutes scored by Stephanie Roach. And they tagged on four more. Onyo Gorman got among the goals. Karen Duggan, who's lost far too many finals for her liking, got one as well. And the subs came on and they contributed handsomely. For Cork City, it's a building block. For so many of these young players, all of them have got great experience during the last five months and even more experience today playing against the team of the year in team out in the 2020 FAI Women's Cup final, where it was a very, very decisive victory in the end for the team from Green Oak over the road in Newcastle. Putting the emphasis on women's sports, rightly so. Soccer right now, Kamogi later on. Lots and lots of people hopefully inspired by this. And Olio Gorman lifts the FAI Cup and Team Out United are well and truly champions, double champions, league champions and now FAI Cup champions as well.